So final common pathway is sleep apnea, insomnia, the way you described it, restless legs, um, all those people are not getting an adequate sleep. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then um, that's at night, they wake up, they're tired. What does that do to them all day long? Well, I think you, you sort of described at least the major symptom, uh, the most common symptom really well, which is you're sleepy all day long, right? And so you're more likely to fall asleep when you shouldn't be, you know, be it on the couch while you're watching TV or when you're at a meeting or at a downtime at work or maybe even driving, which actually happens um, and is pretty frightening. So that the excessive sleepiness during the day is, is one of the most noticeable consequences. I think the other things that we commonly hear people talk about are, um, cognitive problems, so problems sort of thinking through and doing things, and sometimes this is very specific, and people say, well, my memory is really bad, or my concentration is really bad, and sometimes it's just, wow, it was so much harder to get through work or school today because it's like I'm in a fog and I'm, my brain is walking through mud. 